Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to animate text. Now, I'm going to state up front here that animating text in Adobe Animate, previously called Flash, is a little trickier than in using other programs and it's a lot more limited in terms of what you can do. If you're an After Effects user, you will notice it. I've got just some basic stuff here. I'll just hit play and show you. It's really, really fast and jarring, but let's give you an example of what you can do. You'll notice how that when I go through this slowly, I've started the animation. It went from black and then I started moving it and then I went to red. So you can do those types of animations and you can make it longer and less janky. But again, this is just to teach you the technique. So I'm going to add a new layer here and I'm going to delete the old layer. Okay, good. Now, the first step is you want to go and add in some text, obviously. So I'm going to add text in on the fifth frame and I'm going to go to the text tool and then I'm just going to left click anywhere on the canvas, how to animate text. All right, good. I'm going to click out and I'm going to go ahead and grab the selection tool and I'm just going to center that. Let's go here. Something like that. Okay, good. Here's a quick pro tip in case you're interested. There's an align option here on the bottom, on the top right here in this toolbar. If you don't see it, you can always go to window and just check for it. Make sure there's a check mark beside align. I'm going to go ahead and center it in both the vertical and horizontal centers. You'll also see check mark beside align to stage, so it's aligned perfectly in the middle. Okay, all right, that little aside. Aside, let's keep going. The next step is, and this is a critical one, is you want to go ahead and turn this into a symbol. So you need to go to Modify, and then go to Convert to Symbol. Left click on Convert to Symbol. You get three options. You get a graphic, a movie clip, and a button. Always choose graphic unless there's a very good reason for you to choose otherwise, which we'll cover in different, in different videos. But almost 99 out of 100 times you want graphic, okay? You can change the name if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and just write in text just for the heck of it. Okay, click on OK. Oh, yeah, of course it's taken. Oops. Okay, let's go with text 3. There we go. I don't know where. Maybe it's in one of my other video, my other uh, projects that's opened. Okay, so we've got how to animate text. We've changed it into a symbol. Now, we can go ahead and go to, let's say, the 25th frame here. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a, I don't know, we're going to go ahead and make some changes. So, I'm going to left click on it to make sure that it's selected. And now that it's a symbol, you'll see it up here. It says graphic. Let's go ahead and go to the color effects. Under color effects, I'm going to do a simple brightness. Uh, no, we're going to do a tint. So I'm going to left click on tint. And now I get to choose a second color. So I'm going to go with a bright red. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. We've got no tweening yet, but we've got it starts at black. It stays black until the 25th, and then it becomes red. So if you're doing that type of animation, that's all you need to see. If you want to do a gradual change from black to red, which is a different type of animation, we want to go ahead and add in a tween. So I'm going to right-click on the timeline here, and I'm going to create a classic tween. Left-click on classic tween, and now you'll see it starts black, and it slowly adds and changes over to red. And by the 25th frame, it's going to be nice and bright red. Okay, cool. That is how you animate properties and how you animate text, guys. You can do other types of animations, just a heads up. If you click on it, you can change the brightness of it. You can change the, the colors. You can change the opacity. There are a variety of adjustments you can make. But that is the gist of it. Create a tween. Create a symbol. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.